Well, one of Philadelphia's oldest Jewish cemeteries is in a sad state of disrepair. Some gravestones are in danger of falling over, but there is a plan to restore it. Waukesha Bailey has more on the project underway in the city's Oxford Circle neighborhood. Sometimes they don't like rattles and chains in cemeteries. That's Joe Ferranini, a modern day preservationist with a grave sense of humor. Okay, Rose, you know, we're, we're going to take care of you, you know. Hopefully, when I, I'm digging, I don't want to go too far. Ferranini has spent more than a decade repairing historic graveyards and memorials, like Haranibo, Philadelphia's oldest privately owned Jewish cemetery. You can hear the air come out as it creates a good seal, and I just wiggle it. Till it touches down. Inside the tightly packed fence lies more than 35,000 gravestones, most with Hebrew inscriptions. The families may have spent a lot of money to, to preserve that memory, and then over a couple generations, it gets forgotten. It was sad. It was a little jarring, um, you know, because here everybody else's was up and his was toppled over. Marcy Green is the descendant of Oscar Lowe. He came to the United States from Romania around 1900. His stone fell over, like so many in older cemeteries. The Jewish Federation of Greater Philadelphia says it's mostly because of a lack of maintenance, overcrowding, vandalism, and weather related issues. But in a place like this that is mostly full, you're not selling a lot of graves, and so you become more and more reliant on those perpetual care funds. And the volunteer work of descendants like Marcy. Marcy belongs to the Friends of Jewish Cemeteries, backed by the local Jewish Federation. She says while cleaning up the cemetery, she met these volunteers who were all surrounding this one stone, Oscar Loeb's. He is my great grandfather. Okay. And my brother, he's my great grandfather. And he was <laughs> the brother to my great great grandmother. Marcy and her family honored their ancestor, something they couldn't do a hundred years ago. Oscar's good. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News.